more farm to go with corn. We're finishing up at this place. We're gonna move first thing in the morning. Well, the 9870 is on the move now. We're loading that last truck. And the 670 is gonna stay. Yeah, we cut everything on the other side of the creek this morning. It cut pretty good. Uh, a lot of it was cut, cutting over 200. Um, we've got another, like I said, 45 here. Right across the creek. And then, <clears throat> I want to say it's 120 up the road. Actually cutting it for my cousin. We didn't plant that. Um, so it's custom harvesting, but it's been a bumpy day today. Ground's is dry, ground's getting hard. Been in a buggy most of the day. Kind of cool this morning, very enjoyable. I'm gonna pull this header up out of the way. Uh, got some drone videos today. Took some good shots, some pictures and stuff. They'll be up on Instagram. Y'all go check that out. Um, yeah, if you like these videos, there should be plenty of... Uh, we, we didn't have 700 acres of corn, maybe. So we wiped that out pretty quick. This, there'll be a few more uh, videos. I'm not sure. I may go to Foliate Cotton in the morning. I may not be here. But uh, we'll get somebody to mess some stuff. But if you like these videos, subscribe. Leave some comments. Let us know if you like like just more drone footage. If you want a lot of that in the videos, or if you if you just like us explaining and walking through equipment and showing you how everything works, you can do that too. Oh. I tell you what, I hadn't been working. That there is a box blade on this road. That was rough. We've got one, two, three trucks loaded right now to go to Sunshine Mills over in Verona tomorrow. Um, we are out of bin space is the deal. So wait right here see how everybody's gonna ride home and see y'all in a little bit See it, other. Fair size. This is a hill right by the road. Got Gilbert hooked up to the wagon. About to leave the shop, jump in the truck, go down to, uh, gonna spray a little bit of Gramoxone on beans. Just gonna go around the edges. Um, the plane's gonna spray the rest of them. So there's some big trees, big tree line, some trees out in the middle of the field. Uh, that be hard for the plane to, you know, do a really good job of spraying. I've got some Vermont stone in the tank of one of these sprayers. I'm going to go around the edges, trim up. Those beans there will probably be the next in line to be sprayed, but they're not quite ready. You see a lot of brown on 
top of this hill, but the more it goes down, there's lots of green. Uh, it's this sort of flat field right here. It's a lot, got a lot more clay in the soil. It'll be, uh, I don't know, two, three days now. We might hit it, may get the plane to hit it then. The, uh, like I said, there's a lot of brown in that right there. That field may, may do the spray, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I think it probably would some of it, but we'll give it another day anyway. It's, it's funny how fast they change. Uh, it's cool weather, drying out. They're predicting a little rain next couple days, so I'm not sure how far ahead we want to get with uh, with the Gramox on. You can see a good, yeah. See so there, always some green. That's that's really why you spray it, just to take care of the stuff that's almost impossible to get through it. Watch the way they're saying. Probably to throw all that cotton today. You see a lot of the bowls coming through on the bottom. Some good looking beans. Really good looking beans. We can't film this. Might have an accident. Well, we you know what? Some, uh, some light showers have hit. I don't know how much it's going to rain. Uh, I've been running both sprayers today. Been just letting Gilbert haul water and uh, fill one sprayer up while I'm spraying with the other and just keep them rotating. Um, I'm going to give you an idea of kind of what we're looking at and what this defoliant is going to do to the cotton. Of course, that one's going to open on up naturally. It's a lot easier with the cooler weather to kind of get... Uh, keep the regrowth at a minimum but it also helps uh, helps the defoliation process just work a little better when it's not trying to uh, or when it's not like 98 degrees funky humidity um, but on the other hand you have to uh, you have to defoliate it when it gets ready uh, especially when you've got as much to harvest as we do this is pretty much the top bowl on that plant. Of course, any th all this really green stuff you see up at the top, it's not gonna make. Everything is blooming out the top. You might as well just take and anything above that, all that is not harvestable. Not gonna eat that either, that. All that's never gonna make anything, doesn't have time. These right here are and it varies on the size of the plant. Some of them are, I don't think that one's gonna be ready. But if it's just one per plant, some, I mean, there's different rules. A lot of times they'll be a little bit darker, but really the only, and it's harder. If they're harder, you know, like almost pop, uh, crack open, they're gonna be easily defoliated. Uh, and that's what that prey up or bowl buster does, it opens them up. I'm gonna cut cut a few of these open and let you see what it what it is that we're actually looking for. Rain's blowing in. What it is we're actually looking for to know when and if we need to defoliate. Bigger, harder one, and you really need a sharp knife. You're not so darn sharp. Just cut your finger off. Which I've never done it. I got them all, but I've had to have the knife too sharp. If you can cut all the way through it, and this knife is dull. Lord have mercy. Will was here a while ago. I'm going to saw it just a little bit. Will, our, uh, see that one? Will's our salesman. He had a really sharp knife. 
but I always get the one. <laughs> but that right there. If you can see those uh outer layer on these seeds that's the seed and the, of course that's the fiber in the cotton um some of these are just barely cracked open which that was a little this one that's basically what will happen the next stage and there's a few hours in between that but see that one it's kind of juicy still but, oh it's even starting to pop open if you can see a little crack right there. See that? I bet you the seed outer layer of that for sure is going. It would probably naturally open in a couple weeks. But they get a little drier and they're kind of harder to cut anyway. Like that. Here is the seed, that dark outer covering. This one was so dry. That's the seed that I was showing y'all earlier. See that dark outer covering? That's kind of a one way to gauge it. Look at it. Of course, I didn't exactly get a good cut, but the outer covering, dark outer covering the seed. Right here. That's way about 90% of the field is. So, I'm going to help him get packed up. Fill that other sprayer up. That sprayer is full. Uh, I've got about, yeah, this small field, which is about 15. Let me get close with this tank. I'm probably going to move on to the next one. About 300 acres up there. So, going at it. Got Gilbert to start those brush piles burning. Let's say he got them going. Uh, that is a potential, potentially a place uh, me and my family would like to build a house one day. Not 100% sure on that yet. I think it's what we like. But, uh, like I said, we're not 100% not sure on it. Kind of like the location. You know, still weighing the pros and cons out, but nevertheless, it was a, a pretty place, and we cleaned it up, or I cleaned it up with a bulldozer. Uh, three, maybe over a month ago, burnt that tree over there beside that fertilized tank oh, a couple weeks ago. And it rained. I was going to start them, but it rained. I was kind of waiting on them to dry out enough, and it looks like they're looks like they're going pretty good. Should be the last tank I put out with this sprayer. I'm sitting here waiting to be unloaded. Got uh, recruited. Yes, I know the grain tank's full. Um, got recruited to be on the night shift of uh, the last, possibly. I'm not sure about how many acres we got to go right here. It looks to be 30 ish, 25, 30 more acres. I think when I got the call about 5 30, I said, Hey, I'm done defoliating the cotton. And I'm on the 9870, got the grain tank full of alarm works. Um, we got two grain buggies full, a truck full up there, a line over at the bins that we're using. This is Jacob's corn. I don't know what kind of, uh, what variety you planted. I think it's a big cow. I'll have to ask him. He's on the buggy. Glenn, my dad's on the uh, on the 670 over there. Post 
to have a truck about a mile down the road. So we'll see how late we get to cut. We had plans, like I said, when I got the call, I told them I was done defoliating the cotton. They said, hey, come. There's an older gentleman that uh, he kind of calls himself half retired. So I came and uh, got on about 6 o'clock, 6.15 for him. First time I've drove a combine in about a year. I think I cut a few beans last year, but same combine, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm always driving a cotton picker during the fall, defoliate, and then driving a picker. So, change of pace, nice. Air conditioner works in here. It's kind of chilly. It's kind of getting cool outside. So, if I'd have known this, I'd have grabbed my drone out of the truck, but I think they already jumped in my pickup and headed home. Some of the trucks that were full, it's going to go to the elevator in the morning. And the other guy that was driving has come by. They said this corn was cutting 170 to 175 to 200 most places. Of course, it's kind of rolling ground, if you can tell that. But Looks good to me. Big old ears right there. sure how waterproof that is and I've got probably more grain on my in my tank than he does so anyway yeah I think some areas are calling for like seven or eight inches of rain in the Oxford area I don't know how much we'll get here so 
like I said, thank you guys for watching. We'll let you know how much rain we get in a few days. We're gonna try to load this buggy right here as much as we can because uh, it's the only one that's got a tarp on it. That other one. to tarp everything. We've got rain in the forecast. It's my dad on the grain cart.